A few days ago, Microsoft had a Microsoft Surface event where, among other things, the Laptop 6 was officially unveiled, turning heads once more. Although it is evident that the first version was designed with business users in mind, the Laptop 6 has a few additional features that make it usable and accessible to a wider audience. But would those perks compare against, or even accept the MacBook Air M3 from Apple? With a similar price tag to boot in our video today, we're going to help you decide which one of these laptops you should go for. So without further ado, let's begin. With a nearly identical design to its predecessor, the Surface Laptop 6's design can be good or bad depending on your perspective. To us, the simplistic and minimalistic design has always had a special appeal. But yes, we agree how the basic clamshell design can get a bit repetitive, especially considering the last two models. However, the design does take a positive hit on your productivity, since you're getting a comfortable keyboard alongside a smooth touchscreen with a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. With more or less the same dimensions as their predecessors, Windows pretty much spoon-feeds the advantage to Apple, as both Air M3 variants are smaller and lighter in comparison, and makes it relatively easier to carry. Although we might be nitpicking a bit since we're talking about a matter of inches of half a pound here and there, but hey, details matter. Microsoft gives the users a choice to pick between either a 13.5-inch or 15-inch display with a solid 201 ppi, meaning you get a maximum resolution of 2496 by 1664 on the 15-inch, which is more than enough for getting work done. The displays themselves have seen a few improvements, such as anti-reflective coating, which was a pretty necessary upgrade considering direct sunlight was always their biggest enemy. The MacBook Air M3, on the other hand, is capable of delivering more raw pixels per inch though, since the 13-inch and 15-inch variants come with 2560 by 1664 and 2880 by 1864 resolutions respectively. This means both variants can deliver up to 224 pixels per inch, which makes the MacBook a far better pick if displays are of any importance. While there's a pretty heavy buzz going around regarding the new Meteor Lake processors, and no one would blame you if you assumed it's going to exceed the performance of an M3 chip, you might be wrong. You see, you can order a Surface Laptop 6 with a variety of components, especially if there's a choice between two CPU options, the Core Ultra 5 135H or the Intel Core Ultra 7 165H. These are some of the most powerful Intel Meteor Lake chips Microsoft produced so far and are being heavily advertised as the perfect pick for the AI PC future in tandem with their neural processing units. If you were to buy a 15-inch variant with the Ultra 7 CPU with 64GB of RAM, we don't know about anything else, but your spreadsheet game would be on fire. Jokes aside, the M3 from Apple is capable of showcasing a remarkable power and level of efficiency, turning the M3 Air into pretty much one of the best choices for laptops in the market, and still giving Microsoft hard competition if it wants to compete. According to Microsoft, people who get the Surface Laptop 6 can easily expect up to 19 hours of usage from the 15-inch variant or 18.5 hours of runtime from the 13-inch variant. If the claims are true, Microsoft just might have a chance of claiming that they have more battery life when compared to the MacBook Air M3. However, with Windows's track record of having consistently lesser runtime when compared to Apple MacBooks in general, it's hard not to be skeptical. Speaking of, both the 13 and 15 inch variants of the MacBook Air M3 can last for more than one hours, which is a pretty solid runtime, giving Apple an edge, for now anyway. While the Microsoft Laptop 6 can appear to be a solid Windows laptop, without a ton of frills and somewhat an affordable variant which makes the MacBook Air M3 feel like a pretty expensive choice. It's obvious to feel like saving up for a Surface Laptop 6 instead of an M3 MacBook Air. However, if you're a businessman who prefers to equip your people with a bunch of identical laptops, equipped with Ur cameras, NFC readers, and copies of Windows 11 Pro that's tinkered with your organization, it's easy to see the value. However, with Apple not offering the same value proposition, it'll be harder for people who are accustomed to people and are reliant on Apple's ecosystem to jump on the Windows bandwagon. Apart from being lighter, sleeker, and a better runtime, allegedly. 
Regardless, do let us know which one you decided to go with and why, cause we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.